Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey, and in this video, I'm gonna go over WSL2, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux. And if you're in the IT or development industry, this is the biggest advancement that Windows has seen in years. Basically, what WSL2 allows you to do is to run Linux virtual machines natively from your Windows 10 environment. Once you have WSL2 installed, creating a Linux virtual machine is as easy as going to the Windows store and picking your favorite flavor of Linux. And it's really great to see the direction that Microsoft is heading here. Microsoft really understands the importance of open source and is embracing it. This isn't the Microsoft of the past where you have Steve Ballmer yelling about how Linux is a cancer. We saw that in 2018 when Microsoft acquired GitHub and more recently with the open source release of Windows Terminal. If you're in the IT or development world and you use Windows as your primary workstation, then you need to start using WSL2 to start using Linux as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the WSL installation page and I have it linked in the description below for everyone here. But before you click off this video, I suggest just following along because I have a lot of tips and tricks that I'm going to show you as we progress through this installation. So the first thing we need to do is enable WSL and we're going to grab this line of code here and we're going to paste it into a PowerShell. Now I'm getting an error here saying I need elevated permissions, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this PowerShell again, but this time I'm going to run it as an administrator. So I paste in the command again, and we can see that it successfully runs. Alright, so back on the installation page, and it's telling us that we need to update Windows next. So I'm just going to hop into Windows Update and start downloading the latest updates and make sure my Windows is fully up to date. Once Windows is fully up to date, go ahead and reboot your computer. After Windows is fully up to date, head on back to the installation page and copy this command here. This is the command to enable the virtual machine feature. And this is the feature that's going to let us run Linux virtual machines, so it's very important to enable this feature. And again, make sure you're using an elevated PowerShell to do this. Make sure you're running it as an administrator. All right, back on the installation page, we are on step four. And for step four, all we need to do is download the Windows Linux kernel update package. So just download it, and it's an easy installation where you just click through and hit next. I actually already have this component installed, so I'm not gonna show it in this video, but it's a very easy installation where you just click through and hit next over and over until you're complete. All right, so once you have the Linux kernel update package installed, you can move on to step five. And what we're doing for step five is setting WSL2 as our default WSL environment. So again, we copy the commands and head on over to a PowerShell. Once we're there, we'll paste them in and set the default version to WSL2. And basically all this is doing is instead of using the legacy version of WSL, we're gonna start using WSL2 instead. Now, if you wanted to have a look at all your WSL environments, including all your Linux virtual machines that use WSL, go ahead and run the WSL list command. And I always like to add in the verbose option just to give additional information. So let's take a moment to have a look at this output here. We can see my legacy WSL environment is stopped and I have uh, three running WSL environments. Two of them are Docker containers and one of them is an Ubuntu VM, and then I have another Ubuntu VM which is not started yet. So this is a great command to keep in your pocket for troubleshooting and just having a look at which environments you are running on your machine. So the last step is really straightforward. All we need to do is head on over to the Windows Store and choose a Linux distribution of our choice. For myself, I chose Kali Linux as I plan on making some DevOps security videos in the future. So I can see there's two choices here. I'll just take the one with more ratings on it. And all I need to do is hit get and then hit install. And I should be good to go after this installation completes. I will let this run and I will meet you guys when this has completed. Okay, so my installation is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the launch button here. And we can see a new window pops up and it's just asking us for a username and password. Go ahead and set this to whatever you want. And you can see once you input your passwords, it brings you right into the WSL shell. 
And if we head back into the PowerShell, we can see that Kali Linux is listed here as a WSL environment again. So there you have it. That's all it takes to install WSL2 and get a Linux virtual machine up and running. Of course, you can access your WSL environment by running commands. You can see I run Kali here, and that brings me right into my WSL Kali environment. And I just ran a uname to show that this is a fully functional Linux environment. Let's go ahead and look at the ECT OS release file just to make sure that this is the Kali flavor of Linux. And there you can see it gives us the full OS release information. This is indeed Kali Linux. And we got that up and running relatively quickly. This video is under 10 minutes long, and it only took me about half an hour to record it, going through reboots and everything. So it shouldn't take you guys too long at all to get a Linux environment set up on Windows. And you can start using this every day for your development work where you need access to a Linux operating system. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and subscribe or hit that like button. I release a new video every week on getting into DevOps or starting a career in IT. So if you're interested in any of that, please go ahead and check my other videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.